This is a surgery video I did using a GoPro, uh, using the technique for concise. So this is just a starting box osteotome. Uh, next you'll see a canal finding all. It's just finding the canal, prevent perforations. Next I'll use the sucker, same thing. I'm just basically using the sucker to find the center of the canal. And then next I do a starting brooch. So a starting brooch coming in here, just lining up with the middle of the calcar. And it easily finds the center after using the box osteotome and the canal finding all. So that was my starter brooch. Now I'm going to a size one, which is a little bit longer than the starter brooch. And so basically with the concise, you can pretty efficiently go up brooch sizes. I typically skip brooch sizes. So this patient, I templated a size seven. Uh, this is a size three going in now. So my staff just knows if I template an odd number, such as seven, to give me starter brooch one, three, five, seven. And here's the five. Five's going in right now. It is really efficiently goes down in the into the in the canal. I'm not doing a lot of force, I'm just letting it find its path. Here's a size seven. You can see I'm not using my left hand at all. I'm essentially just using my right hand to pull the pull the trigger. I jokingly say I broached the canal with my thumb. It's really effortlessly done. And then here's an eight. So I know I'm getting pretty close because I templated a seven. I'm really trying to get this brooch to sit at the level of my neck cut because this was done off of my templating preoperatively. And so I'm really close uh, with this, but it's just countersunk a little bit more. It's rotationally stable at this point in time, but I want to go up one more brooch size as I think I can get another brooch in and still get it at the level of my neck cut. And here's a size nine. And I do find that I do get a bigger size stem in than I anticipated with the concise. It just efficiently makes the brooch fill up the canal. And again, I'm not using any force here. It's all done with the concise. It's rotationally stable. It's filling up the entire canal space. And that's at the level of my neck cut. And then here I'm using a Kelcar planer, which I usually typically use on drill, uh, just less torque to flatten out my neck cut. And here's my high offset stem trial for the active stem. I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching. For more videos, please visit my YouTube page and hit the like button.